Hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, the Target Individual Experience. So what I'm going to explain to you guys in this video, again, is how the races on the, in the new NY Predator Department, that's what I call them, because they've been for decades basically uh, engaging in covert warfare and covert psychological warfare against black people. Right, particularly between black men and black women. And you start to see the development of the mindset between particularly today between um with not say with team but with black women and the delusional way of thinking and delusional mindset. And we see more and more of this. All right. And in some cases you see some very extreme right uh delusional uh personality delusional disorder. Not also that, but you see this uh, uh, um, this extreme delusional mindset, and the uh, 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 the love of having fun, particularly with the, the the mindset of black women, right? Having fun all the time, ignoring their kids, uh, you know, uh, just for the sake of having fun, and they're being psychologically manipulated, and religion is a tool in which they do it right religion is a tool in which they manipulate you and manipulate others around you okay and being that there is a pushback particularly with black men a lot of black men have left the church because they see what's going on and what's going on and so what the the, the white supremacists have done the, the white races have done with those with the newest government is now put the churches in their pockets within the US government by giving them uh, government funded money right and so they're vested and term and also vested in keeping their members majority women right because they've conditioned particularly black women to to to, to believe in and love the lie the, the lie of religion the feel-good lie the um, traditions of going to church and and dressing up and all the stuff which they know women love to do right and they have even uh, allowed for women to just provocatively within the churches because, again, they want to have these women come in because they are their uh, financiers, right? So these pimps on the pulpit, that's why they pander to women. But what they, they do that at the expense of destroying the black community and the black family, okay? And the white racists, they, they know this, you know? Uh, there's a famous study, uh, John Calhoun, um, The Rat Utopia. Okay, this is, again, they do these studies because they want to understand how society, how people within the society will uh, operate or, or will become if you create certain conditions. So, like I said, they, they know what it is that they're doing. They implemented these things, they know the outcomes, right? So the idea of fun. So I came in this morning very early, very, very early. Um, you know, because my daughter wanted to go to school today. Of course, she's sleeping because not only is she not feeling well, but because their mother kept them up late last night. My son, when I got here, it was about 7.20. He was eating, and I've been telling him, listen, you have 10 minutes to get out of here. And he just moving really, really slow. Like, you know, because again, I... You know, so he ended up leaving here at eight o'clock instead of leaving at um, seven thirty or seven four thirty-five to seven forty, right? We should have gotten to school on time. But she's here with him, and she's not even cognitive of the, the time that he has to leave to go to school. She's the minute I step here, she's like, "Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm no longer concentrating. On, you know, I'm not even concentrating, but I'm no longer thinking about Ethan." I'm just going to do my own thing. And this is what is called abandonment, right? Psychological abandonment. Because even if she's here, I'm still tending to the kids. But when I'm here, it's like, <laughs> you know, the kids don't even come into her mind because, you know, I'm here, so I'm, this is what I'm supposed to do, right? But you know, to have fun, right? And so I want to take a nap. And every time I come into the bedroom, they hear the police sirens. Every time I look in her, at her bedroom, right? And I'm like, look at this shit, you know? They will use the police sirens every time, 
you know, I find something that she, that she, something that's dangerous that she leaves all over the place, and I talk about it, I just say it out loud to myself, you know, why does she do this? Why, you know, it's like no concept of, of, of being, understand that you have kids and you shouldn't leave in certain stuff around so that the kids can get hurt. Or even I myself can get hurt. They're used to police sirens. Because, like I said, they have created this psychological contract, right? And, and the psychological contract is using coercive persuasion, okay, to manufacture consent, right? So not consent in terms of she's being experimented on, but in consent in terms of she is going along with attacking me because it gives her some benefit, right? Because they're going to make sure, again, that um, because I'm a TI, I'm a target, uh, um, non-consensual human experimentation uh, victim, and to keep me from coming forward, right? Try, they will use the people around you to manipulate you, to lie, what have you, right? Uh, they'll create some scenarios of some setups or what have you. And then, again, to make, um, particularly me and her relationship, is to make her feel like she, she's the victim and I'm the victim. Uh, because I'm a man, so I can be the victim, right? So she has to be the victim. And how how is she the victim when she cheated, lies all the time, manipulate, you see what she, what she was doing, as I explained what she was doing. This, is, this, was, this was happening all the time, okay? And, you know, a, fr a friend of mine, well, my ex, had sent me, um, she had mailed me a bunch of articles on female narcissism, you know? And she was like, yeah, she was like, you know, I had to um, deal with people, you know, particularly women who are like this, all right? And so, again, they understand the type of personality that is created within the society and they're able to manipulate those people with those certain types of personalities and to give them this sense of power and, you know, like, why would you want to enslave people? Right? Why would you think it's okay for somebody to be subservient to you? Right? I don't even, you know, I don't even, I don't, that's not my way of thinking. So, but that's how they think. Right? And again, certain things she said to me, you know, particularly uh, because she's in the medical field, like it was, it was okay to experiment on black people because of the advancement in medicine. You know, I'm just like, what you know, but stuff like that, right? That is just, you know, just makes me kind of shake my head. I mean, I can understand you saying, you know what, that nah, it was horrible, you know, but it did lead to uh, advancing in, in in medicine. But they could have done it without the committing these crimes and atrocities on black people, right? I could understand it, but to say to to like try to justify it without any sort of you know, critical thought of us to say, you know what? Nah, they were totally wrong for doing that shit, you know? But anyhow, just to show you, again, things that I've noticed. And I've probably heard them before. I never not really pay attention to them because, uh, you know, I'm so fo also for more focused on my targeting, whereas now I'm still focused on my targeting and fighting back, but I'm able to uh, not let it affect how uh, I interact with her her um, I should say not on not on, a, on an extreme fight level like I used to be in the past right I might say fight not physical but you know the psychological fight and just leave and you know the exhibit always with in the in that hyper fight or flight mode right when I'm here with her but yeah but again every time I talk about the things that she do you know I hear the police out Right, like I, well, I, so again, this is how black women think that you can't criticize them. They, they've been conditioned that way, that you can't. And as I said, black women think you can't criticize them when you hear the police out. Okay, this is that where that mindset comes from. Okay, so again, I'm in here. I'm just like, oh, it's about fun, fun, fun. Okay, and this is a dangerous situation. I keep. To, I, I used to clean up this. I used to listen to this. I used to clean all of this up. Okay, it, it'll take me a week. But I would clean all of this up, okay? Well, I'm gonna show you guys again. Okay.
right? So this is where I'm standing. I'm just I'm standing in a in a, in a spot that doesn't have clothes all over the place, stuff all over the place. Look, all right? So, imagine. My bad back, I used to clean all of this. Like I said, it would take me a week, right? And this was, you know, whenever she was, she used to go to her, to her parents for like a week with the kids on vacation, Christmas time. And when she comes back, you know, I'll be in pain. I'll be in my back with her, I'll be in pain. It isn't, you know, I never got, thank you, I appreciate this so much. I never got, let me uh, give you a back massage, what have you. None of that stuff. None. Right? But yet, she's the victim because I call her out on all of this. Because, you know, I'm constantly asking her, hey, you need to take some time to clean up your room. Or to clean up your house. Right? And so because of that, I'm the toxic one. Right? I want you to understand that. This is the mindset they have this a lot of uh, particularly black women into thinking that if a man says to them, "Hey, you know what? You're this is toxic behavior. This is something that you need to fix. This is something that you need to within yourself, within your mind, because no one should be living like this. And to have kids in this environment is ridiculous. But you know, these like I said, they know how to pick the gatekeepers." whether they be men or women, and they allow them to engage in this, uh, continue to not engage, but to continue to be like this, uh, because again, it's that false sense of power that they're given, and that they believe that they have, right? <clears throat> and this is why I keep telling her, I, for years, I said, you need to go and get therapy. You need to go and get therapy. And I just read it, and I said, go and get therapy here, it's really Cyrus. They don't even want us to go and get help to fix our issues, right? <laughs> you know, that's the, again, that's to tell you what it is that they're doing to us. Not just TI. I'm not talking about TI. I'm, right? I'm talking about black men and black women, right? Black people, okay, in America. This is what the, the white races have been doing to us in our community. And nobody, I shouldn't say nobody, but there are very few people who truly understand what's going on, right? That the, that the, the cycle out, the brainwashing, that is taking place. The weaponization of our own minds against us and the use of technology, the use of silent sound, the use of drugs, uh, um, you know, which they've given us. Okay? Poisoning our water, uh, 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 um, you know, uh, degrading our cognitive abilities. Right? This is why they say, oh, black people are, you know, they, they can play sports, but they can't put them in a leadership position because, you know, they're not smart enough. One thing about white racism is that what they label you, they will try to make it in real life just to perpetuate the narrative so that the narrative can be true. But, but we know it's not. Because we know the smartest people in the world are black people. It's a fact. Okay? It is a fact. Go look it up. So, you know, they... Again, they, they, they just, it's a destructive mindset that they have and they continue to subjugate uh, black people. And this is why our communities are failing. This is, I shouldn't say this is why, but this is one of the reasons why our community uh, are failing because of what they've done to our women, what they've done to us as black men also. But because more and more black people, particularly black men, are waking up, right, they are more concentrated on manipulating black women because they're very easily manipulated, right? And that leads to, again, the breakdown of the community, the breakdown of the family, and the destruction of the next generation of our children. So as black men, like I said, you know, people look at this and they're like, why are you doing this? Why are you, you know, you could just stay home or have you, you know, you're not in a relationship or have you, because my kids are important. Your children are important, okay? And for those religious fanatics out there, what you're teaching your children, this religious, this particularly Christianity, BS, 
you're destroying their mind and you don't even know it. You don't even know. You are destroying your children's mind with this European version of religion called Christianity. All right, so that being said, talk to you guys in the next video.